This is a test of the 1.5 horsepower Black & Decker variable speed pool pump where we're going to be operating at 2000 RPM, 2500 RPM, and 3200 RPM. The system is installed with a, an inch and a half plumbing system and a 150 square foot cartridge filter. The total dynamic head is approximately equal to 35 feet. Let's go ahead and get started with the 2000 RPM. Just over 46 gallons per minute. Just under 350 watts of power consumption. 1.5 amps current draw. Let's dial up the RPM. 2500. Just over 58 gallons per minute. 633 watts of power consumption, 2.69 amps of current draw. Now up to 3200. Take a look at the pressure on the filter, which is right about 12 PSI. Over to the flow meter. Just under 75 gallons per minute of flow. 1.28 kilowatts of power consumption, that's 1,280 watts. 5.41 amps of current draw. We will be programming a Black & Decker variable speed pool pump for 16 hours of operation at 2000 RPM, 6 hours of operation at 2500 RPM, and 2 hours of operation at 3200 RPM. Let's go ahead and get started here. Press speed 1 and you'll notice speed starts flashing here and of course the pump must be turned off or press stop in order to begin programming this. The speed is flashing so we can go ahead and make our adjustment and we want to dial this down in this case to 2000 RPM. Now I could just run this for 16 hours in a row like this, but instead I'm going to split it up into two eight hour increments of time. So press speed one again, and now it's asking me for the time of day that I want this first speed program to start. So I'm just going to pick six o'clock AM. There we go, press speed one again, and now it's asking me for the duration of time that I wish this schedule to, to run for that we're starting at 6 AM. And as I mentioned, I'm going to do eight hours. There we go. So now we have eight hours at 2000 RPM starting at 6 AM. Proceeding along to speed two, we're going to set that to be 2500. Press speed two again and it's going to ask for the duration of time. And in this case, six hours is exactly what we want. So that's already set for us. So press speed two again, and that's it. Now speed one and two are programmed. Let's move along to number three. Drop this down to 2000 RPM again. And this will be the other eight hours at 2000 RPM. So press speed three again, it's asking for the duration. I'm going to bump that up to 8. There we go. Press speed 3 again, and that's it. Now we programmed speeds 1, 2, and 3. Finally, speed 4. In this case, we're going to be setting it for 3200. The duration of time is 2 hours, because this is a 24-hour clock that we're working with. I could set it for less time if I set it for one hour, then that would only be 23 hours of runtime. then the pump would stop and turn off for one hour. But I want to run for all 24 hours, so I'll set that for two, which is the maximum amount. 
And that's it. We've actually programmed the entire pump. All of this takes effect as we're going. We're in schedule mode already. So all we'd have to do is press start. And that's it. The pump starts running with the new program that we just installed. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.